Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Punchestown Racecourse here on Tuesday. It is April 25th, 2017. Going to look at all the races from today's program from Punchestown, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections for racecourses around the world. So let's get on to it. So, you know, some races are very difficult, and some races are going to be formful in this uh, opening day of the Punchestown Festival. So um, let's get on to it. We have uh, seven of them to go to. Race number one, the 340 from Punchestown is the Kildare Hunt Club FR Sean Breen Memorial Chase for the Ladies Perpetual Cup. It's a hunter's chase basically here going for a purse of $16,000. That's an American currency. Um, he, uh, it's a steep chase for certified hunters, five-year-olds and upwards. Um, field of 10 horses going the distance of ground of three miles over the chase course. And uh, I'll give you a forecast this race. It's very difficult, this one. And this is the kind of race I would just probably watch and not make a wager on. Um, there's actually a few of the w races today I would just watch and not make a wager on. Um, but, uh, you know, if I had to give you a top selection, it would be the two horse and, and it's killing. Uh, I'm going to go 2 6 in the forecast, but personally, I'm not going to play. It's just very difficult of a race. I could. You know, any one of these uh, uh, 10 horses could maybe win, but 2-6 uh, in the forecast if I had to wager. But number two, Inns Killing, J.J. Codd um, for Peter Marr. Uh, you know, this 12-year-old gelding out of witness box. You know, he's coming off a very nice third-place finish in the Hunter Chase at Gowron Park a few weeks ago. Um, you know, finished third by 17 legs, but, uh, you know, he, he showed his heart that day uh, for staying that long. Uh, you know, he, he, he uh, started before an Irish point-to-point. -point. He did win by three lengths with Codd up. That was a, you know... A, very nice uh, victory that day. Um, and then he ran here in a cross country a few weeks uh, back in uh, February. He finished 8th by 50 lengths. So it gets a little bit tougher and really can keep up with them. But I think in this spot here, uh, he should do well. Um, so watch out for this one. Like I said, it's a very wide open race, so this is not a race I would personally wager on. I would just watch it as a fan, but I can't give out. Uh, uh, you, you know, it, it, it's just a uh, you know, it's just a race I would personally watch and not wager on. But if I had to give you a pick, it would be this two horse Inns Killing. So to recap, my best for the first from Hunchstown. Going to go with the two horse. Going to do a two six uh, forecast here. It's race number two, which I think is a great race. The second race from Punchestown, the 420 post time. It is the Herald Champion Novice Hurdle. It's a grade one race here, going for a purse of $105,000. It's for Novice Hurdle, uh, five year olds and upwards. Uh, field of seven horses going the two miles and 116th over the hurdle course. My top pick in this one, I like the four horse Melon. I'm going to go 437 in the tri cast of the trifecta, 437. But my top pick, number four, Melon, seven to five. Ruby Walsh for Willie Mullins. You know, this horse is coming off a very, very determined second place finish at uh, Shelton a few weeks ago at the Shelton Festival in the Skybet Supreme Novice Hurdle. Horse finished second by two and a quarter lengths at six to one, uh, excuse me, at three to one behind Labeck. Um, and, you know, he, he, he ran okay. He, he, you know, he jumped okay. Just the final run wasn't his best. He weakened on it. But uh, coming back to Ireland today, I think he should have a better run. Start before the Maiden Hurdle, Leopardstown, two miles January 29th. Horse won by 10 lengths. 44 cents a dollar, heavy, heavy favorite, and a field of 13 horses just destroyed them. Very nice victory. And before that, this horse, um, that was his horse's first start since uh, 2015 in France. You know, he, he ran September 20, 2015 at Lyon Paris, just in a mile and a half flat race, finished fourth that day. He won a flat race at Moules, but um, I think in this spot, he should have a very good run. He looks very hard to beat here. So to recap my bets for the second from Punchestown, it's the 420 post time. It's the Herald Champion Novice Hurdle. Going to go with the four horse Melon. Going to go 437 in the TriCast or the Trifecta. To race number three now from Punchestown, the third race, the 455, it's the uh, uh, Kilashi Handicap Hurdle. It's a grade B race here, uh, going for a purse of $63,000. It's for four-year-olds and upwards. Field of 11 horses going the distance of ground of two miles and a 16th over the hurdle course. So that's about 3,300 meters. Um, my top pick in this one, I like the seven horse, uh, number seven, uh, Vaynard. Uh, I'm going gonna, gonna to go 729 in the tri cast of the trifecta, 729. But my top pick, number seven, Vaynard, hopefully I said that right. And pardon me if I didn't. Uh, Davy Russell at uh, seven to two. You know, this horse is making his second start of the month. He had a start um, last uh, Tuesday at Ferry House. 
two miles over the hurdles on a handicap hurdle. Source finished second by three lengths behind Thomas Hobson and, you know, was closing up a little bit that day, but really just needed a little extra kick. It was his horse's first start in about uh, nine weeks or so, so he needed the race. So, um, you know, but start four is February 11th at Newbury, two miles in the bet fair hurdle, group and the grade three bet fair hurdle. Horse finished sixth by 14 lengths and really didn't show up that day. Again, so much tougher. It just wasn't his day to win. Um, then January 22nd at Leopardstown, two miles in a handicap hurdle. Horse finished seventh by two three quarter lengths behind ice cold soul you know he, he just um you know he, he he didn't really weaken out of it but he didn't advance either um but i think here today you know he, he's second off the left he's gonna run a big one with a being a very fresh horse so watch out for this one to recap my bets now for the third from Punchestown is the Kilashi handicap hurdle gonna go with the seven horse gonna go seven two nine in the tricast or the trifecta so now let's get on to race number four the fourth race, the big one on the uh, first day of the festival from Punchestown. It's the 5.30 post time. It's the Boyle Sports Champion Chase. Grade 1 race here going for a purse of $263,000. That's in American currency, so don't get confused. Uh, Steeple Chase for 5 olds and upwards. Field of 8 horses going the 2 miles or 3,200 meters over the chase course. My top pick in this one, and uh, you know, I, I think Undeso is going to run a very big one here today. So I'll use the eight horse Undeso as the top pick. I'm going to go eight, two, three in the tri cast of the trifecta. Eight, two, three. My top pick number eight, Undeso, four to five. Ruby Walsh for Willie Mullins again. Most recently at Shelton Festival on the 16th of March, two miles and five eighths in the Ryanair chase. Horse won by one and a half lengths. Heavy favorite, not very heavy like his starts before. But it was, a, you know, his decent, nice favorite and just ran incredibly well. Just It was jumping well. Great ride by Walsh that day. It just was a great race. Start before at Shelton, January 28th, two miles in the Clarence House Chase. He should have been run a week earlier at Ascot, but you remember Ascot got uh, rained out for uh, with uh, dangerous ground. But, uh, you know, a change of ground to a different race venue. The source didn't mind. He won by five lengths, 50 cents to the dollar, had a clear, clear victory that day. Um, it, his first start since, since the Tingle Creek chase at Sandown, mile 15, 16 on, thir- on uh, December 3rd. Horse won by one length, another easy victory. You know, that Tingle Creek chase is, pro- Tingle Creek chase is probably one of my favorite races of the uh, whole year. Uh, uh, over the jumps in the UK or Ireland, but um, you know he, he won that very nicely off the layoff. You know he had two starts at the end of the year, uh, end of the season last year at Otile in France. He finished sixth in a big hurdle race in June, but he did win the Prix La Barca at uh, Otile last year um, by eight lengths very easily. Um, maybe I don't know what do they do after this? Do they go back to France to run in the uh, in some of the uh, chase races or the hurdle races there? soon uh, more is to be revealed later as they say but um, you know to recap my bets for this uh, fourth race from Punchestown the 530 it's the Boyle Sports Champion Chase I'm gonna go with the eight horse Undeso I'm gonna go eight two three in the TriCast of the Trifecta now, race number five from Punchestown. It's the uh, 605 post time. This is a race I'm not going to give you a selection on because it's so difficult. And uh, if you could find a horse and, you know, win with it in this race, I must congratu- congratulate you because it's just a difficult race. And, you know, this is a race, if I give you a selection, I, I cannot be 100% on it. Uh, you know, I can't I can't even be 50% sure about it. You know, so I'm, I'm not going to give you a selection for race number five from Punchestown. Uh, so we're going to skip over to race number six now from Punchestown. So the 640 um, is the uh, the Grozy champion novice chase. Grade one race here going for a purse of $105,000. It's for steeplechase, five-year-olds and upwards. Field of seven horses going the three miles and one sixteenth over the chase course. My topic of this one, I like the five horse Annabelle Fly. I'm gonna go five six two in the tri cast of the trifecta. Five six two, but my top pick number five, Annabelle Fly. Mark Walsh is on this uh, AJ Martin trained seven year old gelding out of Assessor. Most recently on the nineteenth of February, at Navin, three miles over the chases in the Grade Two Ten Up Novice Chase. Horse finished fourth by four nine lengths uh, behind Acapella Burgos. Um, you know, just really didn't show up that day. It was a very very wet ground, so maybe he didn't get a piece. But you know, it just wasn't his day to win. Uh, um, you know, start before at Ness on January 28th, three miles in the Woodlands Park, 100 Club, Novice Chase, horse from by three quarters length, 7-2 to two that day, was second choice, and just ran very well, jumped, you know, it was just a great race for this horse, major improvement off his start before in the Quoto Star Novice Chase at Kempton, three miles the, the December the 26th, horse didn't finish, finish that day as a 3-1 to one favorite, he pulled up. 
disappointing beat. Um, you know, it just wasn't his day to win. You know, he did finish second in the bar one race in Drinmore at uh, Ferry House back in December. Over this spot, spot, he should do well. He won at the festival last year at Punchestown. Watch out for this one to run a big one. So to recap my bets for the six from Punchestown, it's Grousey's champion, Novice Chase. Going to go with the five horse, Annabelle Fly. I'm going to go five, six, two in the TriCast of the Trifecta. Race number seven now, the 7.15, the final race on the program from day one of the Punchestown Festival. Uh, the seventh race is the Dually Insurance's flat race. It's a national hunt flat race going for a purse of $16,000. It's for four-year-olds and upward, which never won a race. Field of 23 horses going the two-mile distance here, 3,200 meters. And... Um, there's always I like in this one a lot. That's going to be the 19 horse Dushi. Uh, I'm going to go 19-4. I'll do a, 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 what do you call that, a forecast here, or an exact, a 19-4 forecast. But uh, my top pick number, 19 Dushi, 5-1, to one, JJ Cod for Gordon Elliott. Um, you know, this horse is coming off a very nice second place finish at Limerick a few weeks ago on the 18th of March. Two miles in National Hunt race, same conditions as today. Horse finished second by a neck and just, just missed a victory. Uh, you know, he, he's improved with every start he's run. Run. So I think today he should do even better. Start before Punchestown, two miles on the 16th, February 22nd, National Hunt Flat race. His horse finished fourth by 18 lengths and kept going that day. He just wanted a little extra ground. If it was two miles on the eighth, I think he could have got a bit of a better position. I don't, th I don't think he could have won, but I think he could have got second. The winner just, early doors just ran a little bit better. But, um, you know, his two races, he's been on the improvement. Just watch out for this one here today. So to recap my bets for the seventh race from Punchestown, it's a duly insurance flat race. Going to go with the 19 horse Stushi. Going to go 19 four in the forecast or the exacta. So good luck to all. And follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And join me tomorrow for the second day of the Punchestown Festival. Good luck, everybody.